I'm so excited to be with Bill Rainey of The Holding Tent and The 48 Hour Film Project. Now, Bill, there are thousands, literally thousands of people who would like to be in my spot today because you have the power to get people cast in movies, all the ones that come to Louisiana. Tell me about The Holding Tent to start with. Well, The Holding Tent is just a place where uh, it's actually a group page on Facebook. It's more than that, but <laughs> that's the understated version. Well, uh, anybody can go there and join the group. And the reason being is movies need all kinds of people. They need people, beautiful people. They need big people, small people, scary people, overweight people, people with tattoos and teeth missing. So that's what's great about uh, this, this business, working as an extra in a movie it doesn't matter what you look like, and the whole intent is where people can go and join the group, and they can watch it every day and um, look for work that fits them. Now, you make it sound so easy. Normally, people think, oh, to be in the movies, I've got to be six foot tall and a size zero supermodel. That's not true? No, it isn't. They, they use all types of people. I mean, some beautiful people sometimes don't understand why they don't, they're not working, and they'll see other people who are whole working, but their time comes, you know? I mean, it all depends on the script. Whoever wrote the script and wrote the movie, I mean, that's, uh, that's the kind of characters they put in place. So if you, if you really look at television or look at a movie, it's full of people that aren't necessarily stereotypically beautiful. Right. It's a lot of people that just look like you and me or George on Seinfeld. <laughs> right, exactly. And that's, that's people who love movies, you know, they have the opportunity to, uh, to get into them. Just everybody should try it just once. You know. Now, what's the process like? They go to the holding tent on Facebook mm -hmm. and they contact you or, or they, they see a listing. How, how does that work differently than something on Craigslist? Well, up the top right corner, they just click on ask to join. And uh, that comes to me and I uh, confirm them. And then it goes in their groups. On Facebook, you, on the side left side, you have all of your groups that you've joined. Well, the whole intent will show up there. Just click on it every day, two or three times a day, seven days a week. Look for a role that fits you. Now, it might be a role that's in a movie, or it might be something, uh, maybe a, what's a grip? I know sometimes they have positions for grips that are available. Well, that's a crew person. And there is very little crew work on the whole intent. It's basically for people, for extras, photo doubles, uh, featured uh, roles, and stand-ins. Now tell us what is a stand-in. Excuse me, that's a motorcycle. It might be someone, and recently we saw something like that where someone, they were looking for people that were riding motorcycles, men and women. So that, that's another example. I'm turning my phone off. So it's <laughs> uh, yes, it is. I mean, so people might get a chance to use their toys, so to speak. But well, let's say if you love to ride horses, they might be looking for somebody that, that rides horses or um, jugglers. I mean, it's all kinds of different things, you know. That's and, what's great about it. And you mentioned horses, and that is something that was there recently. They wanted real live cowboys and cowgirls that could actually ride. And it specified, it said, if you haven't ridden a horse in 20 years, don't submit your information. Right, yeah, well sometimes they'll even ask you to send a, a video of you doing this particular thing. As an example, remember we were talking earlier about my uh, son and daughter, they paddle board. And that's something that's becoming more and more popular in this country. Well, they were looking for paddle boarders a while back and they had a little uh, difficulty in finding people, but they finally filled it with for a commercial. And uh, that's just another example. I mean, it's limitless. Limitless, really so, is. So commercials, too. So it's not necessarily just movies and television that come to town, but commercials. Yeah, I should clarify that. On the whole intent, you're going to find movies, TVs, music videos, and commercials. So there's lots of opportunities. Now, if someone wants to go to the holding tent, they want to participate, what can they expect if they've never participated and been in a movie or a video before? Well, uh, we have documents on the holding tent. There's 13 documents. In the top right-hand side, you'll see something called Files. You click on Files, 
and that'll open up 13 doc documents. The best one to read first is tips on being an extra. Any question that you could possibly ask is answered there on that document. And we'll be right back with more tips right after this with Bill Rainey. We're back with Bill Rainey with The Holding Tent and The 48 Hour Film Project. Now you were giving me some tips about being an extra in the movies. All right. Well, as I said, this document will tell you everything and it would take me too long to explain it because it's quite lengthy. But the, being an extra is not for everybody because you can expect when you're called to work, plan on being in there 12 hours. That's not good for everybody. You know, everybody doesn't want to do that. So you got to really love the business. But it's a great job for college students because they can utilize that time to study while they sit there on set in the holding tent uh, waiting to uh, be called. And you get an opportunity, and, and I will say this, my very first movie job, I was able to photo double and stand in for Kate Winslet. And that was my very first movie job, which was quite an honor for me. So you don't have to even have any experience, you just have to have the right opportunity. And you get to work with movie stars that are A-list people. So right. just that experience was, was tremendous for me. So, I mean, that, just the opportunity, even if I never worked on a movie again, just being able to say that I was able to do that. So, that's a huge opportunity for anyone out there. Now, you mentioned several hours to 12 hour days, people can do things. What about pay? Well, uh, usually they pay by the day. In other words, every day that you work, you get a separate check. And the check takes four to six weeks to come. I mean, sometimes they'll come in two weeks, sometimes they'll come in six weeks. Most of the time, they come in a couple of weeks. So, I mean, this is not a job or not something people need, want to do if they're looking to make a living. You're not going to make a living doing this. That would be a bad idea. It's more for the experience and, and opportunity. For the fun of it, for college students, retired people, people who just uh, maybe like nurses work three days a week. You know, they work 312s. I mean, just it, that would be an example of it, you know. And children, too. I mean, a lot of children are homeschooled, so uh, they can work in the movies because we all, we, we, I shouldn't say we, the production company has a teacher on set to make sure that the uh, kids get to do their, their studies in between shots. Now, Reese Witherspoon got her big break as an extra. So you never know, you don't expect to become famous, but you never can tell. Well, Brad Pitt, Bruce Willis, and John Wayne even were extras, you know, so that, that's an example. I wanted to say something about the whole intent. We have these 13 documents, which is gonna tell you everything you need to know, but also we have gained the credibility of the casting directors in the state. All of the casting directors, when they need someone, they go right to the whole intent and post it. Uh, this is something that has not really been available to my knowledge. There are so many companies out there trying to sell people opportunities to work. And you should never have to pay to work in, uh, in the movies in background as an extra. No, you, they should be paying you once you get hired. Right, well the production company pays you, but what I'm saying there are talent agencies, agencies out there, there are some agencies out there, all they do is want to get that $50 a year and that's it. That's, that's their whole focus, which is a shame, but that's the world today. So don't pay, they should be paying you once you're hired. Right. So all of the casting directors in the state of Louisiana, this is now Hollywood South, all the movies are coming here, this is LA South that you're watching with Bill Rainey. But what an opportunity, so we want to encourage you not to pass up the opportunity to be involved with movies and television right here in your home state. We are, is it true, number three behind only L.A. and New York? Yes, that is exactly correct. We'll take advantage of the opportunity with Bill Rainey and The Holding Tent and we'll be right back with the 48 Hour Film Project right after this. back with Bill Rainey with The Holding Tent and The 48 Hour Film Project. Now you've heard everything you need to know about getting involved in being on camera in the movies and television. Now what do they need to know about The 48 Hour Film Project? 
Well, this is for amateur filmmakers. Um, people, they don't like to be called amateurs, people who just love making films. The 48-hour film project is really unique. Uh, it's a challenge. What happens is uh, the filmmakers are, as a group, they'll come, and they form teams. They come on a Friday, and we give them a genre, uh, a line, a character, and uh, something else that they have, you know, the line they have to say in the movie, so that we know they didn't write this movie two oh, weeks ago. Sure. And it's a four minute to eight minute short. They have to write a movie, uh, find a location, find actors, film it, edit it, and get it back to us on Sunday within 48 hours. What an incredible challenge. So it's almost the, the old timey game of here's the hat and you pick something and just go with it. They pick a genre, yeah. We have a hat and we, they pick a genre out. It may be comedy, horror, drama, whatever. And this is not just done here. This is done in 120 cities worldwide on six continents. So, I mean, last year we added South Africa and uh, several other uh, countries, cities in South Africa. And how many years has this been going on? Eleven years. Here, it's been six years in New Orleans. Now, how many winners have come out of the New Orleans area so far? Um, no one is, well, that gets us to another, another subject. Okay. All, from these 120 cities, they all the winner from each competition. And the competitions are held like from March until September during that time frame. Each winner from each city goes to a film of Palooza. And at the film of Palooza, they choose uh, a winner. Ten of those films actually go to the Cannes Film Festival. So some, wow. somebody can just make a, a film shot here and they could end up with uh, worldwide exposure. What an incredible opportunity. Yes, it is. And uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. to go to the film of Palooza for this year. It's in Los Angeles. Uh, me and my producer, Alex Garcia, are going because we're going to try to convince them to bring it to New Orleans in 2014. We're one of two cities. We've already submitted our package, so we have a, a good chance, a 50% chance of getting it here. And that's where those New Orleans independent filmmakers are going to come from that are going to be the winners we know for the future. Right, and uh, it, it's just it's just so much fun, but no one sleeps during that time. Ah, you know? I wouldn't think so. I mean, just having, you know, they have, they can pick their teams. A team can be two people, one person with a camera and a person in front of it or it could be 20 people. Last year the winner was 26 people. And they could pick their teams beforehand, you know, people they know that can write, people they know that can act. And they have to get all this equipment to sound equipment, camera equipment, and then finding the location. It, it is a real challenge, but they love it. Well, Louisiana is such a melting pot of talent. I, I mean, just the artists here, independent artists, whether it's musicians or actors and actresses, you've got this huge plethora of artists, and especially the independent artists that are here. So they've got to be just buzzing with excitement that you guys are going to LA and really pitching for them to get this organization here for the 48 Hour Film Project to, to really give them this opportunity. Right, yeah, for, to have everybody from all over the world that wanted to come here will really be nice, you know. The film schools here, uh, like UNO, Loyola, Tulane, LSU, uh, all of the people that come out of that, you know, form teams, or just somebody who's never even went there, just somebody who has a camera and just loves doing this, and that's the thing, it's open and it's available to everybody. We, last year we had 42 teams, this year we got to uh, allow 48 teams. We had a waiting list because we actually had 53 teams signed up last year, but 42 teams was all we allowed in. What happens is after all of the films are done, we have a screening to show every film that was made, and uh, then we have an awards banquet after that. So, well, let's tell people how they can find out more about the 48 Hour Film Project. Uh, they should go to the 48 Hour Film Project on uh, Facebook or on the internet. And that tells them everything they need to know. 
There's also a, for, uh, they could, that's the main one. They could go to 48 Hour Film Project New Orleans. And uh, that'll, we'll always have on there when it's gonna be coming up again. It'll be sometime the end of July this year. Well, but, our, uh, our guest today has been Bill Rainey, and we'll see you in the movies.